So again, welcome everyone. I'm your host, Victoria Guerrero. I'm the events director here at Alignable. We're so excited to have you join this event on how to access a business line of credit using Funbox. Today, we're featuring our special guest, Mike Haig from Funbox. During this webinar, we will cover how Funbox has simplified um, access to credit, if it's a good fit for your business, and how it works and where to start. So for those of you that have or have not attended an Alignable event before, this event format is a bit different than your typical 30 minute long sessions or your typical hour long sessions, I should say. This will be a part of an ongoing series where we bring in experts from the top rated business tools to educate you on the options you have so that ultimately you can make an informed decision on what's best for your business. During these sessions, we'll explain why these business tools found the need to innovate in this space, why they're a solution for small business challenges and how they actually work. So then you can make the decision. Plus, these sessions will have a 15 minute Q&A session at the end. Um, during the session, feel free to put your questions in our Q&A box or in our chat box so we can then um, refer to them during our Q&A session at the end. So before we begin, a few general event guidelines for today. Um, we might not get to everyone's questions. So if you do have questions, again, remember to put them in the Q&A box and we'll, we'll take as many as we can. If we're unable to get to your question, we will be posting answers to all of the questions in the Small Business Lending Group later this week. You can find the link in the chat on where to join that group. Now, throughout the presentation, when we mention different website links, don't worry about jotting in them down. You'll be able to find those in the chat as well. And a couple of days after the presentation, you will receive an email with a link to the recording and all resource links mentioned during the event. So now let's introduce our guest speaker, Mike Haig from Funbox. Mike, could you briefly introduce yourself and provide a quick overview of what Funbox is? Yeah, thanks for for having uh, myself and Funbox. We this is always a, a a privilege. So thanks so much. Uh, so like my name is Mike, like you said, and I said earlier, I'm, I'm based in San Francisco, and and Funbox is a a financial platform designed to help small businesses. That is our 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 focus and has been since since day one, which I think aligns well with with you and and your community. So we provide financial services and capital to small businesses to help them kind of we say meet the moment and and kind of help them tackle their day-to-day -day operations and and get through any challenges they might have so mike with so many lending solutions out there how does fundbox differentiate say itself as a best-in-class solution for small business owners and what type of businesses do you find are most successful with using fundbox yeah, so I, I like to, the differentiator question, I like to break that down into three kind of quick and easy topics. So one is speed. We know that small businesses are owners and, 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 and kind of operators are busy. They've got a lot of things going on. Uh, the last thing they want to do is, is spend a ton of time or, or, or kind of effort working on things like this. So we, we try to make our application and, and our lending tool uh, quick and fast which a lot of folks aren't used to when it comes to small business lending. The second is uh, simplicity. So again, you've got a lot going on. You're trying to run a business and probably raise a family and do other things in life. The simple we can make our platform, the better. And then finally, flexibility. So giving small business owners the, the, the flexibility and kind of the access and the tools to just be able to operate their, their lending and understand their lending, understand their capital as easy as possible. That's, that's ideal. So who do we work with? Uh, we work with both B2B and B2C small businesses. Typically, B2B um, often makes a lot of sense or maybe, you know, kind of is seen as the, the, the most common area we work with. Um, say you're like a small B2B IT consulting company. You, 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 you know, help small businesses or other businesses with all sorts of things IT related, but that means you have all sorts of operating costs, payroll, rent, insurance, buying equipment for your small business customers. I mean, you have a lot going on and you might be running a great business, but because you're B2B, your repayment from these customers who love you might be on kind of quirky terms and might be 
Yeah. Weekly, monthly, some up front, some on the back half after you finish a project. So that B2B area where inbound payments and invoicing is a little bit tricky is where we especially help small businesses because our capital kind of acts as a bridge or, or, a, or a tool for them to use when inbound repayment from their customers maybe isn't as smooth or as perfect or as, as uh, consistent as they would like. But again, kind of the same goes for B2C as well. Boutiques, bakeries, uh, you know, you, you name it, plumbers, landscapers that serve residential communities, they face the same types of, of issues as well, even if their repayments are a little bit different or their, like I should say, kind of their in, income or revenue. So anyone who has quirky cash flow challenges, which we found is normally almost every small business, is likely a good candidate to explore a lending option like Funbox or, or others. Excellent. So I love that you said that Funbox is all about speed, simplicity, and flexibility. And you've done a great job of simplifying the access to credit. But can you help our audience explain how you do that? Yeah, sure. So there's a few ways. One is many small businesses, if they if they hear the word line of credit or or just credit for small businesses, they the common uh kind of old school ideas often, okay, that means I have to walk down to the bank. I have to bring a bunch of paperwork. I might, might not have that paperwork easily handy. I've got to get it organized. I've got to present it. I often, like I said, have to be there in person and it might take a while to get a decision. Um, where we say, what if we're, we're all used to kind of doing our, our daily personal and, and a lot of our business lives online now, why don't we make the entire application online? Why don't we make it quick, five to seven minutes? And the way that we understand these businesses and use data to, to underwrite them is just simply by having them, and we're going to look at this here in a minute as well, I think, but having them sync up or connect things like their accounting software or their, their bank account so we can get an understanding and, a, and a, a sense for their business. But what that really does is kind of just simplifies everything and says, hey, put the ball in our court to kind of understand who you are give us a few key data points and, and, and let us run some, some data and we'll understand you better than walking down maybe to your local bank or having to prevent, prevent, uh, provide a bunch of paperwork to, to a banker. Yes, no, I love that. I mean, everything nowadays is all about speed and functionality and simplicity, right? And as a small business owner, these are things that you want to have as much of in your life. So Mike, could you walk us through how the process works when using Funbox to access credit? So how to apply, what are the requirements and what happens next? Yep, I'm going to do that right now. Awesome. And I'm going to show some, some, um, some images to help us understand this. So whoops. Um, all right. Can everyone see my screen? Yep. That's good. Yes. Okay. So I think it's a good idea to start with back to the question a little bit of who, who is an ideal customer or who, who likes, or who's, who's good for Funbox. And we say small businesses, and these are some of the basic parameters that we look for. So they're based in the United States. They have a, um, 600 plus FICO, hundred thousand dollars in annual revenue. We need a business checking account, uh, and that's because if you're approved and we, we want to send you your capital or send you your line of credit uh, funds, we got to know where to send it. And then ideally, they've been in business, these small businesses, for six plus months. So these are kind of the basic foundational elements for who would qualify for our line of, of credit or our, our lending products. Um, I'll quick run through what that, we've talked about simplicity and onboarding. I'm going to quick run through what that looks like and, and just show some screenshots of what that looks like. So I think uh, your team is going to be sharing the link to get started. We like to know when, when alignable customers specifically um, will be applying. So we've got a link that will take you to a screen like this to kind of get started applying for Funbox. And then as well as uh, this is where we start our registration process. So here you can see I'm, I'm Captain Smith. I'm going to provide some basic details. This entire process that you're going to be looking at and seeing here is free. There's no cost to apply. So doing something like this, we, there's, there's no cost, obviously. And you'll just provide us some basic information as we get started so we can set up your account and learn more about you. Again, we'll do the same thing here. We want to learn a little bit more, more about your business. How much, how much funds are you looking for? What are you maybe going to use the funds for? Uh, do you have any short-term financing? Some basic questions like that. 
and then this is where we'll hook up if if you have access to or if you use victoria a a uh an accounting software this is where we might ask you to hey if you want to hook that up to give us more data so we can better understand your business this is where you would do that so you'll see some common uh, accounting software platforms used here that many many of our small businesses use quickbooks freshbooks zoho uh jobber clio invoice asap and let's say i'm a small business i'm captains consulting and i use intuit or quickbooks i just simply log in here click sign in with my credentials which i, I probably have i'm probably in my quickbooks all day every day that's very normal and I, what Funbox will do will then say, great, we're going to check out your invoices and check out a little bit more about your business using QuickBooks. We'll ask you to kind of give us permission to do this and we'll be on our way as, as a key part of onboarding. So this part is not required, but many of our businesses do use an accounting software like QuickBooks or FreshBooks. And we love it when they hook those up because it just gives us a little bit more data to understand their business. Uh, same thing with a bank account. So we will... Uh, ask, hey, if you would like, or if we, if we can, we hook up your bank account, business checking account, I should say specifically. So that'll give us more information about your business and specifically more about your cash flow and what that looks like. We use a platform called Plaid, which is pretty common. Many, many folks have heard of that to, to collect your credentials and have you log in. We're not doing anything with your bank account other than just checking, checking out what those numbers look like. And then eventually, uh, hopefully, if you're approved, sending you some funds as well. But Plaid is a, we've got all the full safe, secure um, kind of elements of our platform and Plaid is, a, is one of those to have us check out the bank account information. As we finish up the onboarding, uh, you can kind of see how quickly we're moving through this. We'll ask for a few more business details. This is where we get into a little bit more of the nitty gritty about, hey, who owns the business? Uh, what are the last four of their social? Maybe what's the business's EIN, date of birth, a legal name or the DBA, things like that, that typically businesses have these right off the bat, usually not an issue to, be, to, uh, to, to share with us. And then just a little bit more about the ownership here as well. So who's the true owner of the business? We want to make sure we understand who that is. Excellent. So that's, that's more or less the application flow, right? If you have those credentials and, and those items available, uh, like I said, typically our, our users are, are completing this part of the application within you know, five to 10 minutes is, is very normal for us. And, and if you are approved for credit, you are you know, sent an email, a welcome email, and then you are able to log, log right into your platform and, and check it out. So we'll take a look at this here real quick. You can see I'm kind of getting the welcome introduction screen as, as Captain's Consulting here. Um, but for the sake of showing a live account or showing an account, I've, I've already got some outstanding draws and balances and things. So you can see I was approved for for ten thousand dollars in credit. I've used I've used a few thousand of those dollars already, and I have sixty three hundred or sixty six thousand three hundred twelve dollars available now for me to draw. Let's say I want to take out twenty five hundred. I just easily kind of type that in here, and I'm going to be presented with with two options. So our our line of credit product allows you to draw that twenty five hundred dollars on either 12 or 24 week terms. So you will see the option to toggle between those right here. You'll see kind of what those repayment terms are, what the weekly repayment will be, and what your total repayment is. Again, we try to keep it simple as possible. So what that looks like here, if I want to check out my payments, uh, weekly payment schedule for 24 weeks at $2,500, this is exactly what you would be repaying. Uh, to, to, to pay off your, your, uh, your $2,500 line of credit. It's the same amount every week, a little bit of a difference in the principal and fees based on the week, but we try to be clear and, 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 and show you this data so you can manage and understand your cash flow as, as, as much as possible for a 24 week line of credit. The same goes for a 12 week. I just kind of toggled over here to a 12 week to show you that, hey, this is a 12 week uh, line of credit. Slightly different fees and, and, and principal, of course, because we, we have a slightly different um, fee rate for a 12 versus a 24. But again, that weekly repayment is the same to keep it simple and to make sure that you can cash kind of plan your cash flow accordingly. One important thing I do want to point out here is with Funbox, uh, there are no origination fees 
to, to do this. So we're not going to charge you right off the bat, any sort of kind of one-time fee to use your credit. And there's also no early repayment fees. So what you're looking at here would help a business plan out maybe if they wanted to go all 12 months or excuse me, 12 weeks with their line of credit. But many of our businesses actually pay off that line of credit that they draw down on within one, two, three, or four weeks because of those cash flow kind of nuances I, I, I described before, where they actually get repayment from customers. They were expecting that. They're good to go. They pay off their line of credit early. They save on fees. There's no penalty to do that. And that's great. We just like to show what it would be like if you went all 12 weeks or all 24 weeks in these two uh, screens. After, uh, let's say I accept my 12 week line of credit for $2,500, it will offer me to offer a text message so I can know when my funds are on the way. Typically they uh, arrive in our bank account or in your bank account within about 24 hours or so. So here you can see kind of behind that text me when the funds are on the way, you can see my outstanding payments there for my previous draws kind of, sorry, it's kind of shaded right now, but you can also see here we try to make it clear and helpful for businesses with their cash flow planning to see, hey, this is what your, your upcoming payments look like. This is how many you have if you, if you, you know, win the full term. Of course, you can pay these off early, but, and then this is also the history of what you've done previously. So your previously paid off draws or your line of credit uh, draws that you made on your funds. So again, equal repayment every week, pay it off early if you'd like with no repayment, early repayment penalty but also just have a clear understanding of what your repayment terms look like so you can manage and plan your cash flow accordingly. Right. Um, one last thing, just we have a full help center online with lots of questions. So we'd love to take your questions right now, but on our website, you can find lots of topics about everything I just covered, as well as a support team and an onboarding team to help with any other questions that we can uh, help with. I think those are some wonderful insights, Mike. Thank you so much for that overview. Now, to everyone attending, we hope that everyone has found some value in how to access a business line of credit and a fund box is a good fit for you and your business's cash flow needs. Now, Mike, we do have quite a few questions that have come through. So All right. if, if it's good, if we can spend a few times, a few minutes answering these questions, that would be wonderful. Also to our audience, a reminder, if we're unable to answer your question during this session, we will be posting all answers to all questions received in the Small Business Lending Group in Alignable next week. So please make sure to check out the chat. We'll be putting links so you can join our group and continue to have a conversation with us and with Funbox on any questions that you might have. So Mike, we have our first question is from Hugo. He says, what if I don't have a credit score of 600 or higher? Now, as we all know, the pandemic has been a rough road for him and for many business owners, Mike. Um, he has a bakery. What do you think his options might be? Good question. And yes, we, we definitely felt that uh, as well with the pandemic. So our, our recommendation would be um, to, to just kind of do your best to get that, to get your credit score above 600. So if you maybe have outs, you know, the typical uh, ways to do that, I think a lot of us know, or maybe your small business owners know, but if you have outstanding, maybe credit card usage for your business, getting those paid off as, as early or as often as possible. Mm -hmm. uh, if you have other forms of debt, getting those paid off. So any, any way that you can, you know, kind of get your personal FICO score that, that, that is common for us to know about. That's what we would recommend because we, we do have that 600 requirement. That's perfect, yeah. Okay, now we do have some other questions here. Um, Jeffrey says, do I access credit over multiple months or is it a bulk amount of credit? And I think you kind of just showed us that, that we can do it over a couple of months, you know, whenever it's needed, it's kind of yeah. there for you. But if they need to access everything at the same time, do they also have that option? Sure. Yeah. So in the example I gave before the $10,000, let's use that as kind of a round even number. If, if you're approved for $10,000 in credit, uh, the, as what I showed before was many of our businesses, they just draw amounts, maybe less than 10,000. Maybe they don't need all 10,000 at once. To your point, they just kind of want to have it there as a, as a, as an option. And they have an upcoming, maybe upcoming equipment they need to buy. So they need to draw $2,500. That's great. They can do that. 
and then they still have the remaining capital available and they can draw another thousand dollars tomorrow for another another project or rent or whatever it may be so uh at the same time some of our businesses need it all at once and they could say i've got ten thousand dollars in available credit i'm going to draw all ten thousand dollars right now and then as i repay it the key thing with our line of credit or, or any line of credit typically is that the amount that you have available is replenished. So as you pay back your funds, as you, uh, on, a, on a weekly, or if you pay it off all at once, your funds that are available go back up. So now you've got this tool as it's kind of going back up, you can pull down again for other projects or, or financial needs. That's wonderful. Excellent. Now, yeah. we often get questions about startups. Um, Jenny is asking, that she just started uh, her marketing agency and needs funds to grow her social media campaigns. Uh, she says that she's had trouble with finding cash flow as a startup. Does Fundbox offer credit to new startups? It, it, we do. If is and with those uh, with the requirements that I showed earlier, I mean, I I would probably still consider a, a business six months. Let's say with the minimum that we look for six months in business, I'd probably still consider that a, a fairly new startup, especially in the small business world. So if, if that's her, if that's kind of what her business looks like, she's been around for six months, you know, maybe has some customers now and it looks like her revenue is going to be a thousand dollars or so mm -hmm. uh, a year and that FICO and based in the U S then um, that startup word can, can, can be, you know, a little bit nuanced of what it means, but we would, we'd ask her to apply and see if we could, we could help her as long as those requirements are, are met um, for her business, for her startup. Excellent. Now, I think we have time for a few more questions here. Um, Izzy is asking, how does Funbox compare to getting another credit card? Yeah, good, good question. So um, our, our line of credit is, is, is going to do a couple of things. One is we are going to supply the, the capital or the funds in, in more or less cash in your bank account. Uh, within 24 hours. So as opposed to putting something on credit, which kind of, you know, you, you can use what you need to do, but then you pay that off in 30, 30 to 35 days or so, we're going to actually put funds in your bank account within 24 hours and give you access to that cash. So what that does is that's many businesses need access to that type of capital for various reasons. Um, talking to a business re recently where it was just rent, they needed to pay rent. Yeah. And they didn't want to do that on their credit card. There's you know, maybe exorbitant fees for that. So they're able to pay, pay their rent in with using Fundbox Capital. They paid actually, they paid that off in a couple of weeks because they had that cash flow come in and it mm -hmm. was just a, the, the perfect backstop. Same goes for things like payroll. Yeah. Or paying your contractors or third-party vendors that only accept payment in, in cash or, 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 you know, check or, or ACH. You can't use a credit card for those. So we, the capital that we provide is going to just give you a lot of flexibility and options for taking care of your day-to-day -day operations. One of my favorite examples is buying supplies in bulk and getting a discount. Oftentimes, if you're buying inventory or buying supplies, maybe seasonally, you can buy you know, off-season, use Fundbox Capital versus a credit card. You get kind of a double discount, potentially, if you can get a discount yeah. using ACH or, or, or cash. Mm -hmm. And you can really buy your inventory now, save money, and then pay that off as your as your income comes in. So lots yeah. of flexibility and use cases there. I love that. Thank you for those examples. Yeah. Now, um, I have Fernando. He says, I am so worried about piling on more credit, Mike. I'm old fashioned like that. I'm afraid I'll never get out from under it. Does Funbox have any helpers to give me advice? Um, well, Fernando, I... I, I empathize with you. That's a, that's a good point. And, and, and we, we don't want businesses to be underwater in, in kind of debt or, um, or, or feel strapped either. And that's, that's one way that we are trying to kind of actually relieve that stress by, by offering this very much as what I sometimes call as a, as a backstop or as a catch-all. So say you go through our, 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 our onboarding process and, and say you're approved. Um, first of all, there's, no, no hard credit check until you use the credit. So it's free, soft credit check only. And there's no obligation to use the funds, right? So Fernando, if you're worried about that, I would say just having access to this capital and, and knowing it's there, many of our businesses think of it that way. 
they don't, they might not use it for months because they don't need to. And they, and they have kind of Fernando's mindset yeah. of wanting to be a little bit cautious and we understand but those same business owners tell us, but we do want to have access to that in case of an emergency. Mike, it's peace of mind, right? Peace Just mind, know exactly. it's there. Yeah. You can breathe a little bit easier. You know it's there. You can use it whenever you need to. And if you don't need to, it's okay. You can yep. still keep it there, right? Payroll <laughs> may be our best example. I mean, nobody wants to go into a, a, a Friday morning when payrolls do, do and have kind of that, that, that pit in your stomach because of, of a situation where maybe it's not available Excellent. Backstop will help. Yeah. So um, our last question, if you can just kind of give us like the bullet points to it, Liz is asking, you know, she's not certain if she qualifies. So can you review what the requirements again is and how long does it take to be approved? And this would be our last question for today. Absolutely. That's a good question. So our, what we look for in a small business is a, a fi personal FICO of 600 or, or more uh, and has been in business for six months and $100,000 in annual revenue. We only work with businesses in the United States and we also ask for, we need a business checking account. Right. So those kind of five things or so uh, are the, the baseline for, for our onboarding process. So we can't guarantee approval by any means. There's a lot of things that we look at in our small businesses. I mean, We've done you know, hundreds of thousands, if not maybe millions of data points over the past eight years. So there's a lot of things we're looking for, but those are kind of the, the foundational pillars. And how long does it usually take for a person to be, um, to be accepted? That was part of that question. Yeah, if, if you have all the materials available, you, know, you, you have your EIN there in front of you, you know the last four of your social, you can type those away easily. That onboarding process that I showed typically takes, like I think I said, five to 10 minutes. Okay. Uh, and the approval or, or the, I should say, the decision is typically or is generated right there at the end of that process. Oh, so, wow. Uh, in that's almost cool. all cases, with, with a few outliers, maybe not, but that's typically what m almost all of our businesses experience. Excellent. Well, Mike, that's that's great. Um, so this brings us to, to the end of our session today. But thank you so much, Mike, for, for being with us here today. We really appreciate you sharing your expert insight on Funbox. And to our wonderful members, thank you for attending this event. We do hope that you took away some value from this conversation with Mike Haig. Um, if we were unable to answer your questions, remember you can post any small business email. Well, actually you can post any small business lending uh, related question into Alignable Small Business Lending Advice Group um, right on, a, on our website. Also, if you are interested in checking out Funbox for Lending, they generously are offering Alignable event attendees $100 off fees. Now we've linked the offer in the chat box, so make sure to look for that. Also be on the lookout for future events as a part of our Alignable Solutions series. Thanks again to everyone. And we hope here at Alignable, we wish all of you a wonderful rest of your week and a beautiful weekend. Thank you all. We'll see you soon.